Hey guys, this is Dr. Clay Sankey, chiropractor at True Motion Therapy in Charlotte. And today I wanna to discuss a question I get asked a lot by patients, and that is, what is that cracking, that popping or snapping that I feel or hear in my knee? So to answer this question, I'm gonna be referencing an article written by Tom Goom, AKA Running Physio, the link to which will be in the description of this video below. So, patient comes in, they have knee pain, and if there is noise associated with their knee pain, that is one of the first things that they bring up to me. And I always ask, I say, what do you think is the cause of that noise that you hear? And I hear, the most common things that I hear are, well, it's, you know, my knee joints kind of wearing down, or I have arthritis and it's the bones rubbing together. Um, maybe they say it's a, it's a tendon snapping over another piece of bone. So. In this video, I want to clear the water and give an actual explanation as to why this noise in the knee may be occurring. So uh, just as a little bit of framework here, we are just going to be talking about the knee and I'm going to be talking mainly about the knee of runners, although this can apply to other joints in the body and a broader population as well. So to first define our terms, that snapping or cracking, that noise that you hear in your knee is called crepitus. That is the scientific term for it, crepitus. So one of the most common causes of crepitus is essentially a warming up of the joints. So uh, maybe you wake up first thing in the morning um, or right before you work out, you notice that those first few movements, you hear some clicking or popping in your knee. And then as you move, it kind of goes away. That is totally normal. That is essentially the little bubbles within the joint capsule, those little gas bubbles forming and then popping, and uh, very similar to when you crack your knuckles. So it's totally normal. It goes away with movement, and it's typically not painful. Definitely not something to worry about. So uh, the second common cause is uh, knee injury. Uh, with or without pain. So one of the more common knee injuries in runners is termed patellofemoral pain syndrome. That is a fancy way of saying pain in the front of the knee. So one of the more common injuries or diagnoses under that blanket term is another fancy term called chondromalacia patella. With chondromalacia patella, there is excess stress in the kneecap area, and behind the kneecap, we see that the cartilage gets these little wrinkles in it. When the cartilage gets those wrinkles and you move your knee, the natural fluids within your knee kind of swirl around, run past those wrinkles, and make that crepitus sound. Uh, the funny thing about chondromalacia patella is if you MRI'd a bunch of healthy runners, runners with no knee pain whatsoever, many of them will actually show signs of chondromalacia patella. So uh, if you have knee pain, you have, you think you might have chondromalacia patella, it's not something to be real worried about because you your knee could look a whole lot like another person's knee uh, in an MRI. So obviously pain is, it's your brain's request for change. So that is something to get taken care of, but it's not something to fret over. Your knee is likely not wearing down. So uh, the final cause of crepitus that I'm gonna be talking about on this video is arthritis. So, uh, we see in some arthritic knees crepitus occurring. But unless it's a pre-existing condition, runners are very unlikely to develop arthritis in the knee. That may take a lot of you by surprise, but no, running does not cause arthritis in the knee. I'm gonna say it again. Running does not cause arthritis in the knee. Running actually helps strengthen the cartilage that is responsible for absorbing the forces when you run. So, uh, unless it's a pre-existing condition, uh, not, not common in runners. Uh, the interesting thing about arthritis, similar to chondromalacia patella, is you can have a bunch of people with totally pain-free knees, and they will show signs of arthritis in imaging. So, if you know, you have arthritis and you have pain. Unfortunately, arthritis is not something that can be reversed. 
it yeah, it's it's essentially permanent. Pain is temporary. Pain can be reversed. Uh, pain can be changed. So, uh, if I were to worry about one thing with crepitus, it is the patient's response to it. So let me explain that. If somebody has crepitus, their knee is making noises, and they subsequently avoid or change the way they move, they avoid movement or change the way they move, that is a negative response to that crepitus. If somebody has crepitus in their knee and they see it as something that isn't unusual and they go about their day as normal until an actual problem comes up, that is a very healthy response to the crepitus. Similar with pain in the knee, if somebody has knee pain and they see it as a wearing down of their knee and they fear movement, that is an unhealthy response to knee pain. If somebody has knee pain and they simply see it as the brain's request for change and they seek out help to make those changes, that's an extremely healthy response to that knee pain. So we typically, we want people to say, okay, you know, I have knee pain, I have these, or, you know, some noises within the knee. It's not something to stress out about. It's not something that is gonna debilitate you for long periods of time. It's an opportunity for you to learn more about yourself, to learn more about your body. So crepitus is typically not something to worry about. It is not typically a degeneration of the joints or anything of the such. So I hope this video was informative. I hope it provided you some peace of mind. If you know somebody whose knees are constantly making creaking noises and they're worried about it, share this video with them. If you want a further discussion, please comment below. Uh, I love talking about this stuff. So hope this was helpful and I look forward to seeing you guys on another video soon.